What's going on YouTube? Erica Lynn here. Welcome back to another video. I'm be doing things a little different today. As you can see, I have my billfish bills here. These are the same swordfish bills that I did catch in the previous video to my trip to Venice, Louisiana. So if you guys didn't already see that, go check it out. Um, but since then, I did take these home. They've been sitting in my lake for a couple weeks. That way, all I have left here is just the bone um, of the bills and decide, do I want to have artwork put on these? Do I want to mount these? I personally do like the natural look. So so instead of using bleach, they do tend to get a really brittle. So join me in today's video. I'm going to be lightening up these swordfish bills with blonde hair dye. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So I do recommend doing this outside to start. Um, we are going to be having to rinse these off and since they are a little larger, um, they are sometimes a little too large for your kitchen sink. So you're welcome in advance. Do this outside, not inside. <laughs> I do have some nice tin foil here. I'm going to go ahead and stretch this out to the length of the bills. That way I have a nice clean work space to work with. Um, so that's when we starting with first. Now that I have my workspace ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick dust off before it starts raining on me. <laughs> you can use a sponge in this case. I just want to get the loose debris off. All right, step two, now we're ready for dye. So go ahead and take out everything that's in these boxes. Fun fact, that's actually the first time I've ever even opened one of these before. <laughs> you should find a pair of gloves. You're gonna wanna go ahead and put those on. It's gonna usually be some sort of mixing bottle, so we're gonna go ahead and take the cap off of that. And then something labeled two, <laughs> um, you're gonna go ahead and put that into the bottle first and mix. I would assume these are all the same. This is the first time, like I said, I've ever even used one of these before, so we're all new at this. <laughs> making a mess. Once you have all the contents of number two in the bottle, we're gonna go ahead and close that up with the other lid that they've put in that box for you. And then once that's mixed up, we're gonna go ahead and add number three. This last tube that they put in there for you is like a afterwards conditioner. But, oh God. That didn't work. Keep mixing. <laughs> There's just like all the powder sitting on top. Hopefully I'm doing this right. All right, much better. I'm <laughs> gonna go ahead and put number three in there. The entire tube. Oh, that's gonna be open too. Oh God. We're both new at this. We're all new at this. There's a little safety tab I wasn't prepared for. Garbage. Put that little lid back on and continue shaking until it looks like it's mixed up. Beautiful. I went ahead and switched that cap over now to, um, I don't even know what they call this. It's the one <laughs> that helps you squeeze it out. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and make sure there's a nice even layer on both of these. And then this is going to be sitting on these bills for an hour. I'm pretty much following the same instructions that you'd usually see um, when you're using these, this for hair. I couldn't really find anything online about it. So we're going to do an hour or two and see how it, <laughs> we'll at least check it at that point um, and see how it's doing. Well, I'm starting this early with you guys. Because here in Florida, it is very hot mid-August and it is only about 9 30 and about to get a tan out here all right once you have a nice solid layer on there we're gonna go ahead and let this sit for an hour and I do recommend you hold on to these gloves um, so that you can use them when you rinse these off all right, and we're back one hour later. These are looking already lightened up. I'm gonna go ahead and put these gloves back on. Uh, next step is to just rinse all this off. I'm gonna clean this up a little, set these back out to dry, and bring these over to the hose. Wow, I can't believe how much these lightened up. Guys, these lighted up way better than I expected. These are already looking absolutely amazing. I cannot wait till these are done. So they're a little wet right now. So as light as I already think they are, um, they should get lighter as they dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave these out. 
All right, and that's gonna wrap up today's video. One hour later, we have a beautiful swordfish bill here that's lightened up from that blonde hair dye. I went ahead and sprayed on a clear coating just so it seals in that natural color there, but I'm gonna probably use these in the house as a natural standalone uh, kind of decoration. Um, if you do wanna mount your swordfish bill on the wall, you can go ahead and add some mounting gear to that from this point on, but I have a finished product. So thank you so much for watching my video. If you do like the video, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.